So in this video here, we're going to talk about how we can create AI machine learning and computer vision system. We're going to talk about the different phases from going from a business use case, a project with a bunch of requirements to act like creating a system that we can scale and so on. This is where most of the work is. It is really important that we focus on act like planning out the architectures, the different software frameworks and so on that we're going to use. But we also have multiple different phases when we are creating computer vision from scratch into an end solution that can act like solve business use cases, one that we can both deploy, test and also scale to multiple systems and so on. It is not enough that we just have it working in our own local environment. You probably, if you're working with computer vision and so on, it is very easy. Just use Autolytics, update detection models and so on. And we can pretty much have an update detection model up and running on a video stream on our own local environment in pretty much like 30 minutes. We actually need to know how we can go from a Jupyter notebook out in the real world and also scale our systems because this is the most essential thing if you want to act like apply and solve business use cases at the end of the day everything is about making money solving problem like helping out other people and so on so we take a problem we solve it and then we get paid for it and this is pretty much like what's pushing technology but also just how the whole world works most people they're focusing on the theory act like knowing how to change the layers in a neural network all the higher parameters what is the math and statistics going on behind the algorithms where it's more important to act like know the framework how to deploy the systems how to act like come up with a software system so our model is running because when we have AI models, machine learning models and so on, it is just a very small part of the whole project and also the software architecture in general. Yes, it is what is act like doing all the groundwork and so on, solving the act like problem. But if we can't take that, wrap a software system around it or take a small AI model integrated into an already existing system, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. So yeah, it is basically the model and the algorithm that solves the business use cases, but the model itself is nothing if we don't have the whole software system around it. So when we're talking about software systems, First of all, we need to have project requirements, business problem that we need to solve. A lot of people, they get started with software projects, AI projects, and so on. They want to create AI startups as well, but they don't really have a business problem. They just have a cool model that they want to explore, play around with, and so on, have some data that they have found. Yes, it is good for learning purposes and so on, but we also need to take it to the next level. If you want to get out there, get a ton of opportunities, but also provide value to the real world. So this is the first phase in a machine learning, computer vision, AI project in general, but also just in general software engineering. So yeah, we have that phase. Then we have an initial research and basically just coming up with a game plan. We need to plan our system architecture, the different frameworks that we want to use, how we're going to generate the data, train the model, what can we do in parallel and so on. Like most systems, we can build up the business use cases, the groundwork and the structure for the code base in parallel with generating the data. Then we can start to explore some models, test some models out, train some models, do some evaluations. Once we have that, we act like both have the business use case, the ground structure for our system, maybe we're building a simple front end, some back end systems, and so on. We have the AI models, and then it's just all about gluing the different components together. So this is really important that we plan this out in our initial research, like test out some different approaches, method. Like the first thing, when you just have the project requirements, the more experience you get, the more problems you have solved, the better you are at coming up with the initial frameworks, the software architecture, the approach to take and so on as well. But you can never come up with the best solution in the first run. So explore different approaches in initial research phase figure out what is the best to approach and so on. It is not a bad idea to go down different directions, different paths. We just need to make sure that we're not going down the wrong path for too long. And this is actually like happening if you're not doing your initial research, if you don't have enough experience with actually like solving business problems and use cases. So then when we have done our initial research, we can come up with a game plan, basically just a master plan for the whole project, for the next phases, the pipelines, the approach that we're going to take, how we're going to do the planning, finish the work, glue it all together and so on, which is very important. Now we can actually like get into the real developer work where we have implementations, code, algorithms and so on, but don't get into that phase before we have actually like thought about it done our research and actually come up with the best approaches. 
But if you're in the early stages of building projects, you want to learn the fundamentals behind AI and deep learning, Simply Learn can help you out. They're basically like an online learning platform offering a wide array of boot camps and different courses designed to empower individuals in their career journeys. So it doesn't really matter at what stage you are in your journey. The AI career program is particularly impressive. It is basically like a comprehensive 11 month online boot camp that covers everything from the basics to all the advanced topics, concepts, and so on that you need to know before you start building these individual phases that we're talking about in this video in the courses you'll dive into machine learning natural language processing deep learning and even cutting edge topics like generative ai which is some of the newer stuff it's created in collaboration with ibm so you get like industry aligned curriculum tools and so on but also practical experience you will get the ibm certificate and all of that included as well the learning experience is top-notch live online classes led by industry experts hands-on projects for practical use cases and a capstone project to solidify your skills and you'll also get lifetime access to self-paced learning content the program it has excellent reviews from past students who have enrolled and also transformed their careers also, Simply Learn is reviewed and recommended by Forbes. Many have landed exciting new jobs or received significant salary increases after completing this course. So if you're serious about getting into AI or just leveling up your existing skills, this is like a full comprehensive program. Go ahead and check it out on the website, explore the full curriculum, watch some of the sample lectures and see if it's the right fit for you. Then we do data generation, could be image data, time series data or whatever, but we need some initial data. Could be that the project requirements or the business problem already provide some data. So we need to do data preparation, annotation, labeling and so on. So we have our ground truth data. Once we have that, again, this will pretty much be like an iterative phase. We will also like always add more data into our data set, retrain the models and all that we have the data flywheel. But once we have some initial data, we can start to do some model training and also just model development in general. When we are solving business use cases, it is much better just take existing models out there, open source models or whatever models that is suitable for your application and project. We just want to create our models, test our models as fast as possible on the act like business use case because if you just figure out all the way here on the initial data it's not going to work or we get a good indication of what is the accuracy going to be of our system how does the model perform we can test out way more models if you're just using them out of the box the probability of you coming up with an architecture that is better than existing models out there is very low but it also takes significantly more time and when we're creating computer vision projects, machine learning, AI projects, and so on. Solve business use cases could be that you are inside a job. We can spend months on actually just trying to come up with model architectures. And especially if you're doing freelance work, if you want to get into that and so on as well, I have the AI career program. I pretty much just teach each of these phases here. How can we do it in the best way? How can we get customers, clients, land machine learning, AI jobs, and so on. So definitely check that out because most of it is actually just networking building your own personal brand, putting your work out there and get credibility. I help with all of that in there. So once we have that, we already have a good understanding of how is our initial system performing on the data set. We can start to build the code base also with the business logic on top of it. So we can have some assistant frameworks that we're using and then just applying the specific business logic, business rule base and so on, depending on what system we want to solve. Let's say that we have a computer vision system with a conveyor belt. We want to count the number of objects, could be specific objects and so on. So that is the business logic that we're applying on top of the output from the AI models. Once we have that, we kind of like have an initial system. Maybe you have a video stream up and running on your own local environment where it works and so on. But this again is only 20% of the work. We have project requirements, business use cases, research, come up with a game plan that is totally different compared to actually like just getting a demo up and running. But then we need to do system deployment. We need to set up our system, connect the cameras to the servers, depending on if you want to have a cloud deployment as the parliament, we have a desktop computer running or whatever, local server, all of those things we need to know how to actually deploy the models to that system. Also be able to scale it. Could be that we want to have multiple cameras over time and so on. So we need to have that in our mind while we are setting up this system. Once we have deployed the system, depending on all the optimization frameworks and so on, I have tons of videos covering that on this channel as well. We need to do system testing, monitoring and so on, make sure that our system acts like works good enough. Again, we won't have the perfect project. We won't have the perfect solution in the first one. It is very important that we have this iterative loop. We keep on improving our model, doing model optimizations, adding more data into our 
data set, retrain the model, and then we have this whole data flywheel. This is very important because when we're sitting in our Jupyter Notebook, we're testing, validating a model and so on, doing model evaluation. We might get good performance, but it might act like drift once we take a model and put it into production. This is very often we get like model drift, data drift and so on. It is not the exact same as we expected it to be. So we will need to do some changes, scale it to more data. So a model generalizes better. Maybe we are overfitting to our training set or our test set and our data is a bit different when we actually deploy it into production. Then we can do some minor system changes and optimizations and so on. And then again, we basically just hook into the flywheel. So after system changes and optimizations, we go in and evaluate, okay, so what is the performance? What can we do different? Can we make some changes? Can we more add more data and so on? And we'll always be adding more data because now our system is up and running and we basically have a full scale deployment. Just store some images, label them, retrain the model, and we have this whole flywheel. So this is pretty much all the different project phases that we have in machine learning, AI, computer vision projects and so on. And this is basically like the best approach to follow. We have the AI models. This is only like 20% of the work. So don't focus 90% of the time on doing the model development, data set and so on. Like the data is very important because as I usually say, trash in is also trash out. So if we don't have good data, the model doesn't really matter too much, but data is the most important thing. And then also being able to build a system around it. So now we actually have our system here. This is just the AI module of it. We also need like an UI if we want to connect that to it. We want to have databases with our backend systems. Might be that we want to have something being added over time, deleted over time and so on. We need to have APIs doing different kinds of things. Maybe storing it to a database, retrieving our information as well, showing it in a dashboard, which is the other part of the work. I have videos covering all of that, like how we can actually build software solutions, what you should focus on and so on, and also just architectures in general. But this is a pretty standard project pipeline for machine learning, AI, and computer vision projects.